It's easy to look at wildlife photographers all over social media and think to yourself, man, they're so good at it. Why can't I be that good? However, I think one of the most important things to growth in any craft is the humility of knowing where you can improve. Sometimes we lie to ourselves saying that we have it all together when we really don't. Actually, no one does. This mentality will only stunt our growth and keep us from reaching our full potential. Today, I'm going to be sharing some of the things that I'm worst at in wildlife photography vulnerably and how I can be working to improve them. The first thing that I have to work on is becoming more consistent in my outings. As a wildlife photography creator, I often find myself spending way more time creating content around wildlife photography than I do actually getting to take wildlife photos. This makes it harder for me to constantly be improving on my technique and skills and it's something I can definitely work on to make better. Especially during the Bird Burger photo competition, it was really hard for me to find time in the past two months to go out and photograph. So currently, as I'm filming this video, I've been getting out multiple times a week to get back into it. Speaking of the Bird Burger Photo Awards, seeing some of those images blew me away and challenged me towards getting more creative and unique images. Seeing photos like some of those took by Nathan Watson, Crystal Miglior, Jonal Lopez, and so many others challenges me to think about how I can better pursue unique compositions, lighting scenarios, etc. In the past, I've tried doing unique things such as midnight silhouette photography, slow exposure flight shots, and bird breath shots, but I still have a long ways to go to making this a regular part of my creativity. What I'm doing to help improve this skill is making sure that I'm researching species and even more importantly, scouting out which environments I'll be shooting in so that I know how to achieve these different types of creative images as they often don't just come on a whim. I'm also working on backing out in my images. Last year and at the beginning of this year, I feel like I just really went through a phase of just always trying to frame the bird as tightly as possible. However, right now I'm currently trying to work on how I can take wider shots while still keeping the subject isolated and prominent and creating a beautiful aesthetically complementary scene around it. This is definitely one of the trickier things, but lately I've been trying to zoom out to 300 millimeters or 200 millimeters on my Sigma 150 to 600 millimeter in order to try and capture the wider shot. Another thing I'm working on is patience. (laughs) It's very easy for me to constantly feel the urge to readjust my positioning when I'm out photographing. While sometimes this is necessary and actually gives really good results, sometimes, even when I know I have to sit and wait, I get too bored to do so and I miss the shots. For example, I spent a few hours with the mountain quail in a wildlife photography adventure I had on my main channel this past summer, and during my first day out, I had a really good situation with two surrounding me. If I would have been maybe a little bit more patient and waited a few more hours than I did, that may have been the best chance I'll ever have in getting close-up shots like that. However, I probably bounced out a little bit too early that morning, and when I came back the following day, they were nowhere to be found. So that's a little bit about what I can be working to improve on in your wildlife photography, and I hope me sharing that encourages you to think about how you can grow as well. If you want to check out that wildlife photography adventure in my search for the mountain quail and how I went about it, check out this video here in the end screen. I hope that you can learn from me sharing what I have worked to improve on, and I'll see you guys in the next video.